I've certainly spent my skill points on a wide variety of interesting things. And you ignore some of the bonuses that I have. Of course, uh, willpower and intelligence were both taken up the maximum. I'm pretty sure I put some love in a dexterity constitution. Uh, maybe one or the other. Perhaps both, because of my interest in increasing fatigue and then my interest in, like, moving faster. Having a higher speed, which allows me to make more attacks. Or strength I have increased by my awesome axe. I do have this uh, level and some basic training in melee, which uh, totally gets a whole lot of use. I tried to make use out of it this session, and that uh, resulted pain. Nothing in the regards of thieving skills. I'm a haggle master with some basic uh, backing in persuasion, but I really haven't... I'm not entirely sure I've... Like, I don't know how useful this persuasion is. I know how useful the haggling has been. And I've seen some instances where it could have been more useful, and I just really didn't make use out of it. Like, uh, being able to buy a ship for 25,000 gold pieces instead of 50,000. Uh, the skill trees I've selected for magic, I don't have any regrets for. Teleportation has been pretty damn convenient, allowing me to skip a bunch of random encounters we'd otherwise see. Uh, big recommendation there. Divine magic is also pretty convenient, uh, allowing me to identify things on the fly. I am working on this force thing. Uh, diversifying my magic attacks, I think, would have been more useful than, say, uh, well, <laughs> some of the other selections I've made. Uh, here in Temporal Magic, I've, I really don't care about Stasis or Tempest Fugit. Uh, like, Stasis, I mean, I could make more use out of that, but I just prefer to kill things instead. The only one who really gave me trouble in that regard was Stringy Pete, and his armada of dudes. <laughs> So it hasn't been the most perfect outcome, but then again, I don't, unless there's like a quest I missed, I don't think fighting Stringy Peak was supposed to be a goal anyway. And of course, uh, Necromancy, which I pretty much went into from the beginning, and I haven't really made use out of any of this except for harm. A coin's life has just been a huge fatigue drain. Uh, and when you think about it, like, my ability to kill someone by casting harm is uh, far more like efficient on points compared to my ability to instantly kill someone. Because there's never been someone I fought uh, with harm that I... Oh, that I... It'd be cheaper for me to try and kill with Quench Life. Except for individuals that weren't able for, to die with Quench Life. Like Stringy Pete, I'm pretty sure I tried that on him. Maybe he succeeded to save. Maybe he's immune to it on account of, you know, his condition. <laughs> and now, like... Instead of, like, ten harms equaling one quench life, now twelve harms are still cheaper than one quench life, so it's even far more efficient. Conjure Spirit has been amusing in a few moments, but certainly hasn't been that worthwhile. And Summon Undead, I... And Create Undead even more... So, amusingly enough, despite me wanting to become a master with this, the only real thing I've done with this is harm. But just goes to show you the lack of respect people have for necromancy. It's a pity. You are the master of all spells that negatively affect the life force of a group. I didn't even... I didn't think that would change the tooltip. Cool. Anyway, my fatigue is back to full. Let's kill some stuff. What you got for me, guys? Here in your ruins. Oh, it was a trap. Get some... Whatever, I'll carry them. I am lightly encumbered already, so... Big whoop. I'll carry yourselves. I'm not exactly salivating over them, though. Ah! Vindegroff newspaper. Huh. Professor Hunley to test submersible. The Vindegroff Times. All the news that is fit to print... Professor Aldous Hunley is scheduled to launch his fully submersible watercraft tomorrow at noon. Charity Ball, tax relief. Huh. Cool. Plagueish Maiden? Put her in the Plagueish Maiden. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that was pretty interesting. And again, I'm already at light encumbrance, so whatever. 
Schematic? Hmm. Vivifier. What the hell, right? Why not use these damn schematics? What is the key for that? Uh, no. T? Yes. How do I look through these schematic things? I forget. Um, hmm. Learn schematics, found schematics, learn schematics. What have I learned? Have I learned anything? Have I found anything? Oh, the iron key. I sort of remember that. <laughs> sort of? <laughs> Search ye place of iron where lies the stone, voices book of truth, of glass that opens beyond belief, power such power. Vivifier. The writing on the schematic is faded, barely legible. Regenerative capabilities beyond even the most. All physical and mental characteristics. Subjects. Oh, that sounds cool. Alright. I get that I haven't... I, I barely looked at this thing. I get the difference between learned and found now. Okay. So, I suppose that sounds like a cool thing for a technologically bent character. Or if you have a technologically bent character. Uh, this vivifier here sounds like it increases physical and mental characteristics. That'd be useful. Although I do have two maxed attributes. But, uh, I'm not certain whether it's something that I could make use out of. Maybe there's something out there in the world. Of course, I'd have to get the compounds, too. <laughs> Show off. We're still in combat. Can get out of combat. <laughs> Damn, Raven! I'll take care of that for you. No! Large boar Vindigrothian rifle with 25 bullets. Certainly quite a lot of technological prizes here. Like, this is the place to come for sure. Elixir of Physical Pro. Ooh, that's actually a thing that I needed. Hmm. I mean, there certainly is a lot of uh, tech stuff around. Which makes sense, given uh, what we've learned. Apparently, they were incredibly advanced uh, two millennia ago. More so than perhaps the world in which we uh, live in today. That was before magic had died and faded from the world. I mean, they apparently created a device that could be used to completely crush an incredibly powerful mage. The game is still telling me that I lack the expertise to combine certain items. Do you guys not want to fight that? Fine, I'll do it. I mean, it's molten. Why would you want to fight it, right? Not like I'm scared by a lock. Pish posh. I fucking... I'm dumb. <sighs> to hell with your lock. That's what I think about your lock. You damage my armor. Ah, that's what I get for not taking off my jacket. Another newspaper, huh? These batteries. Do they matter for this, uh... Thing? Unknown chemical compound, huh? Is it a battery? Huh. Looks like uh, carrying that battery is actually uh, the like battery charge thing there. Interesting. <laughs> Fuck your key. That's what I think about your key. It's dead to me. Your key is irrelevant. Stop hurting, Virgil! It's me. Uh. 
done. I may have missed a door somewhere. I would possibly never do something like that. Gotta pay attention to the walls. You never know when uh, something could be on them. Waiting to spirit me away to a greater realm full of magic and mystery. Like that fence there. Mm, looks like maybe like a new floor. Don't blow all those arrows at one place. Ooh. Siren Spider. It's pretty amusing. I'll take care of this one. Nothing to loot. Well... Don't think those are gonna be it. No, I don't think I really want to carry those around. I don't care about your kinka rootin' kadura stim. I'm like I'm trying to make healing powder here. What's over this way? Pain and despair. Level up, bitches! Alright, I suppose there isn't gonna be there. Of course, now that I'm, like, master of necromancy, me trying to, like, splurge into force stuff, doesn't really seem all that intelligent, because those costs are reduced, but, you know, variety. Something, something, spice of life. Jolt. We can, uh, see what that looks like, if nothing else. We should also see what a uh, shield of protection looks like. Yeah. Let's uh, see what jolt looks like. Oh, uh, my. Ah, okay. Close and all the creatures. In so basically, that would have damaged someone if they were standing close to me. That was a mistake on my part. Oh well. Oh, I can't see him. My bad. Hey, look at how I glow and pulse with anger and rage. Go ahead and cancel that. That was fun, though. Ah, oh, it was a trap! Ancient gun chassis? I don't suppose that's what I need. No. <laughs> hmm. So. Oops. Professor Hunley missing, presumed dead, experimental submersible, fails to return. Seek replacement, prohibition, weather. Mage threatens Vindegroth, crazed wizard warns against technology. Scientists begin defense work. Governor calls emergency cabinet meeting. An uninvited mage burst into the governor's office yesterday and warned him of severe repercussions if Vindegroth did not stop developing technology. This mage, who identified himself as Aronox and claimed to be a member of the Elven Council, demanded we observe the decisions of said council. Governor Nikolai informed Varanax that Vindegroth is a wholly independent country. We have never asked for nor accepted help from the Elven Council, nor do we recognize its authority. Aranax launched into a prolonged lecture on the right of the elves to rule, after which the governor asked him to leave. Before departing, Aranax said we would do well to heed his warnings. We at the Vindegroth Times would like to applaud the actions of the governor, who we have been critical of in the past, and we'd also like to call the citizenry to prepare for the possible conflict with his crazed mage. Local scientists have begun working on a device that will hopefully make any mage think twice before attacking us. After yesterday's encounter with Aranax, the governor allocated the needed funds for the device, which scientists have been proposing for months. We at the Vindegroth Times have been able to get a rough idea of the workings of this device, even though, understandably, its innermost workings are a government secret. The device is meant to somehow drain the very life force from a mage. Only through the wonders of science is such a thing possible. Yes, the wonders of science. 
fucking scientist, guys. Alright. Let me take care of these so that she doesn't spin like 97 more fucking... Out of curiosity, how many more errors you got left? 65, dude. Well, we got more potions. That's what we needed. Yeah, whatever, you can take the healing cells. Not like I really care about those. You can take these newspapers, too. You can take the bullets. You can have the gun. I'm sure the elf will totally appreciate the gun. He said with some measure of sarcasm. So I might need those keys. I'll carry this other stuff for a go. It's not a big deal. Okay. Let's go. So easy to kick ass whenever I don't lose that much fatigue now. I just harm things across the galaxy. If only I had this power sooner, I would have used it for good. No, no. None of that. No powering up around me, sir. Well, I'm sure that would lead me further down into the depths of despair and anguish. But I'm interested in looking around. And exploring. Mm hmm See, unlike you guys, I'm not stupid and recognize that uh, I'm going to have to go around. Virgil! 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 God damn it, not again, Virgil. Alright. Great. 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 Virgil is gone again. Let's try teleporting out of here. Virgil is back again. I thought that would make the game crash. It appears that did not occur. Welp. I used a very powerful greater fatigue restoration potion there, expecting the game to crash. <laughs> but... Ah, just fucking inconvenient, that's what that was. Okay. Thanks for that, Virgil. Virgil's like, show me up by walking around, will you? <laughs> I mean, he might have been around, and I just didn't fucking see him. And his... Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now, game? You know what? Fuck it. Like, I, I teleported out of here and it fucking fixed itself. Fuck Virgil. I don't need him. Oh, I can't see him. Okay. Alright, John Cena. Turns out I found you a little bit easier than I did Virgil. Oh, you want a piece too? God forbid you be part of the fucking team, Virgil. You try to accomplish something with your miserable existence. That's, you know, I need to, I deserve to learn schematics. You probably need these gauntlets for something pertaining to those, uh... These glo panel lever gloves for something pertaining to those war gauntlets. Whatever. I, I guess I didn't... Guess you didn't have any. Well, there you go. 
Now you do. There's bed. As it turns out, I don't feel like shutting the fuck up and going to sleep. Thanks, Virgil, by the way. I'm glad that you decided to vanish into the cosmos. Not once, but twice. After I unclitched your ass. Ah, fucking Virgil. Yes, I'd like to close the game. Thank you. Yes, I know, OBS. You can't find the game window. I can't imagine why. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer And a very shiny nose And if you ever... Yes, Arcanum. got sassy because I tried to move the game window again. So for that one time! Will not allow such an event to occur again. Yes, yes, Arcanum. I'm aware, Arcanum. It's like I've played this game before. Now my OBS window is slightly glitched out and looking weird. This has never, this has never fucking popped up for me in all the other times I've launched this game. You know what? I, I do want to select it. Yes, I do. There. Because using a mouse pointer is a, it's because I accidentally clicked the multiplayer. That's why. Using a mouse pointer is against, uh, religion. Yes, it is. This is all the way back at the start. 22 minutes ago? Yeah, huh? Alright. Huh. So pretty much this entire video is a wash. That's what I'm uh, getting from this. This entire video is a wash. Ah, uh, hmm. Yep. Entire video is a wash. I'm, uh, gonna have to, uh, start over again. Start over this, well. No, no, I don't have to start over the video, just, uh...